Use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I have a super secret question for the group. The question is, do you think it's ethical to own a human skull? (laughs) (laughs) She's asking for a friend. (laughs) <laughs> I'm I, not asking for a friend <laughs> I think it depends on how the skull I mean I don't think it's unethical so there is no law in the United States about yeah. selling and shipping human remains unless mm-hmm. it's uh, like Native American remains um, there's a few states that won't allow you to uh, ship them it's just Georgia, Tennessee, and Louisiana we're nice. in North Carolina we're not part of that group so i found this website called theboneroom.com <laughs> and they sell real human skulls they apparently got them from china and india before it was illegal to export them out but wow. they don't say like like how they got them <laughs> like, i don't understand like I-, I guess they're like digging uh maybe they're like Archaeological this is, you know, you didn't explain any of this to me okay. when you asked, told me about this question because it's getting a, it's getting to murkier and murkier territory right now. Well, I did a little extra research this morning and I was like, <laughs> oh, I wonder how they get these skulls. And it seems like it's a don't ask, don't tell sort of situation. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I am less comfortable with that, especially since they have a section in their human skulls menu that says fetal and child skulls. Right, that's a little creepy too. Um, but apparently you can get a skull for about two grand (laughs) so I think you also need to uh, back up a little bit Um, you don't this is an area about you that you've never explained on this show (laughs) is that you enjoy collecting (laughs) skulls this sounds creepy Uh, you're a serial killer and (laughs) you have a lot of animal skulls I do collect animal skulls Um, growing up in the mountains there wasn't much to do (laughs) (laughs) And also, my mom was in vet school when I was a kid, so we had, like, some weird shit going on. Like, one time we found, like, this dead baby deer, Mm -hmm. and my mom was like, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to collect all these bones. I'm going to clean them up, collect these bones, and I'm going to glue it back together, and I'm going to have, like, a full skeleton. Um, And I was really little. I was maybe, like, six Mm-hmm. five or six and i watched her do this mm. and i just thought it was the neatest thing and she'd started to like glue the bones together and she never finished it because it's Im- almost impossible to like find all of the little tiny bones that she had like mm. we were just out in the woods with like a, a garbage bag basically yeah yeah um but I just thought the process was so cool as a kid that, like, you walk in the woods, you'll just find skulls and mm-hmm. bones that are already, like, clean and bleached from the sun. Um, mm-hmm. But I started to pick up roadkill when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah. And I would clean the, I would clean them, and I have several skulls. And the animals are already dead. Like, I never killed an animal just for its skull. Um, right. It's, it, but you're, you're I, more of a found skull person. Yeah, I consider myself like a scavenger. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that would be really cool if I had like a human skull. And I was like, there's no way that I could get one because that seems insane. Uh, so I like just Googled it. And apparently there are places where you can buy a human skull. And I was like, wow, I don't know if I'd ever spend two grand on it because that's not my collection yeah. not that important to me. Well, I, I but, think I feel... <sighs> kind of the same about a human skull as you with animal skulls like the the acquisition is is what makes it ethical or unethical unethical Mm -hmm. in in my opinion like this bone room i I don't know how they're getting their skeletons like yeah they don't really say if they're grave robbing then that's unethical um yeah if they're going to destitute regions or or and saying like hey when you die give us your body <laughs> yeah. we will pay your family two thousand dollars or whatever mm-hmm. um that's maybe not as bad but i yeah it, it still I mean, rubs as long me as the, the wrong getting way some money out of it you know or the person got some like something out yeah. of it now if you had a relative um or an enemy and 
kept the skull as a memento, that <laughs> would be a behavior that I would fully support. Fun fact, I've already promised Brittany she can have my skeleton. Yeah. Yeah, well, and I, I get to like, keep her skeleton. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be perfectly fine. <laughs> Can I cover it in diamonds, though? Like 50 cent, Lone Sam? <laughs> did I, so, did I ever tell you about uh, when I went to the... So, we're, we're based in North Carolina, and North Carolina has a weirdly rich uh, pirate history associated with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And one of the local schools, local universities, has an archaeology program uh, that focuses on underwater shit, and they found a bunch of old like pirate ships and and crazy shit like that. Um, and I went to the museum to check out this exhibit because I was like, ah, this is dope. I bet they found some really cool weird shit. And one of the things that they had was what may or may not have been Blackbeard's skull. Ooh, um, yeah, because Fancy. Blackbeard, when his like when he was hanging out with his pirate buddies, he was like, hey. When I die, turn my skull into a silver chalice. Hmm. Um, so he was banging. he was captured by uh, the navy and um, like taken to a base in Virginia and decapitated, and his head was like put on a spike or whatever. Um, and all of his pirate boys just rolled up, invaded this <laughs> naval base, took his skull. And then stripped it off and turned it into a silver chalice. And I saw that shit, and it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's um, fucking awesome, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I can think of no better way for me to be remembered than to be a silver skull chalice. <laughs> I will authorize you. Maybe I should update my will to authorize yeah, Brittany update. <laughs> to take my skull. Because I'm going to be <laughs> cremated. I just want to be like a 90-year-old lady just like sipping from uh, this like human skull chalice. And people are like, what is this? I'm like, oh, this is my best friend's skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're hanging out at a flea market selling like... Yeah. <laughs> old video game consoles just drinking sweet just selling tea. all my shit because I'm dead yeah <laughs> I just have two skulls that I'm drinking from <laughs> Brittany can you can you do me a favor when all of this happens way down the road and whatever equivalent to Netflix is going on right now can you make sure you document all of this with documentary oh, uh, I sure. just want your own Tiger King episode for sure for sure mm. skull queen Skull, Skull Queen. Queens. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> that's my that's my that's my goal. Alright. Skull Queen. It's Skull Queen. <laughs> I'm updating my Twitter uh, bio right now. <laughs> <laughs> BT dubs. I, I am on boneroom.com and I found a section about the founder of boneroom.com mm -hmm. um who looks like if uh the rich millionaire from Jurassic Park's life took a really weird turn <laughs> and never went the science direction. Okay. Okay. Like, apparently he did, just uh, loves amber and things Did he in spare amber. no expense? <laughs> I believe so. Wow. Well. Ron Cole. Oh, yeah. Wow. You are not wrong. Yeah. Man. Do you work with search and rescue dogs? If you are looking for bones suitable to train search and rescue dogs, please see here. We have provided bones for many search and rescue dog trainers in the past and have experience to help you find exactly what you need at a more affordable price. I don't. <laughs> Join our newsletter for coupons. <laughs> looking for human skulls? You are in the right place. The Bone Room has been selling human skulls and bones for over 25 years. We have the largest selection of human skulls available. Browse our online selection here, and if you don't see what you're looking for, email us and we'll send you more options. That is the most terrifying part of this thing. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> what that is, that's that like the back room at the Bone Room, like here's our illegal... Like... I wonder, are they just like going to the catacombs and France and just stealing fucking skulls 
in the walls. Yeah. Like, or maybe they're going to no go idea. out and make skulls. And by make skulls, I mean kill somebody and remove their uh-huh. head meat. Uh-huh. I mean, Man, that'd be the cheapest that, way. That sounds like it would make a really insane like Netflix series if it yeah. didn't seem so weird and grim. No, that's fine. Have you not watched Tiger King? That's Netflix's wheelhouse. I right have. Now. As a matter of Just fact, weird as fuck. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're about to go into our next segment. All right, guys. We'll see you uh, on the next segment. Sorry, Brittany, I'm just something? reading about no, how I Brian's, went to their FAQs. Uh, Melis- ah, fuck. Oh, we still have it. four four minutes left. Yeah. Come on now. We went cool back. I was, you were just sitting there. I, because I'm reading about how they will buy. You should have read before the art. They will buy. <laughs> they will buy bones from you. And they say uh, other animals, skulls, hyenas, giraffe. And they're like, hard to ship, I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, please, we'd love giraffe skulls. <laughs> wow. Um, also, Barkley, uh, that behavior isn't weird to me. One day I went over to my mother's house and I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to get a glass of water. And she was like, cool. If you need ice, be careful because there's a crow in the freezer. <laughs> Because she does that shit, too. She just picks shit up off of the side of the road. Yeah, my my grandpa had a hummingbird in the freezer for a really long time. (laughs) I don't know what he was doing with that thing, but he would, like, whenever company came over, he would pull it out and show them. (laughs) (laughs) Like, my, I feel like my grandpa also. Was it in a block of ice, or was it just a loose hummingbird? (laughs) It was was in a plastic bag, like a... (laughs) Ziploc bag, <laughs> but he had like thing. a he had like a cabinet that was full of like arrowheads and different rocks and bird nests and and things like that. And he would collect also weird shit. And a lot of my collection is passed down from him. Um, but yeah, he would like keep weird shit in the house like that that he would just show to like company that came over like a hummingbird <laughs> we also had like a big fish that he kept in the freezer that i don't know if he caught that fish or <laughs> where it came from <laughs> he found it on the side of the road <laughs> it would not surprise me <laughs> in the least That's but a yeah good road like... fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, well that Brittany, I have a question for you. When what? when Frank and Beans die, are you going to want their skeletons? Yeah, I already told you. I'd like to get Frank stuffed. <laughs> okay. In the attack oh. position. <laughs> <laughs> I support we'll pos- this behavior. It's the only way to pay homage to <laughs> and, him. And we'll put him like at the door. like So when people come in, they're like, ah. <laughs> so we should also get the taxidermist to make a cast of him so that we can mm-hmm. make like bronze statues to put outside in your eventual garden <laughs> yeah yeah it's beautiful <laughs> God, and maybe Frank. maybe get them to pose him in different ways so he has like one or like different casts so that mm-hmm. there's one that's like frank just sleeping and there's one that's frank just watching Mm-hmm. And then Brittany can mm-hmm. trade those out from time to time. Yeah, I feel like the hardest decision when it comes to taxidermy is deciding what position to put them in. I don't know how I feel about that cat haunting me after he's gone. <laughs> I support it. Uh, My grandmother's well, we got a special sister. Christmas present for you, Hutch. <laughs> No. He just becomes this is like the a, worst birthday ever. He, he just becomes like the joke Christmas present that we like keep giving to each other every yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, it's don't like, give him the dare. It's the like, sisterhood of traveling pants, but with a dead cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's man. Like, well, you got him for a year, so. Speaking of <clears throat> speaking of dead cats and animals in freezers, I had a friend whose cat just died all of a sudden, and he didn't have time to bury it, so he put his cat in a freezer so he could like go home that week in and bury it but he didn't and that cat stayed in a freezer for like three years and i just every every weekend i would just call and be like hey are we burying your cat yet and he's like oh no oh, I'm, I'm busy i'm concerned about this is this a person that i know no you don't okay. know this person although i try to get you to meet him all the time back in the day um but we'll never see him again because he's one of those people who accidentally had a kid so now we'll never see him again yeah he accidentally had a kid and then he got tripped married and, and fell into a vagina 
And he's super sad now. So yeah, we're he's like, a sad oh, boy. goodbye. <laughs> Never us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, our time is up. <laughs> I feel like that was a good that was yeah. a good segment, you guys. This oh, segment yeah. brought to you by theboneroom.com. If you type in if you go to theboneroom.com yeah. slash Brittany, you'll get yeah, you zero percent off your off order. <laughs> You can use my coupon. <laughs> and if you're from boneroom.com and you're listening to this, we'd like money. Brittany wants or a skull. skull. <laughs> Brittany yeah, wants I'll a skull. Take, I'll take skulls. Yeah. Do you got a spare skull? I'll take a draft one. I know they're hard to ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Bye.